what they believe to be good thought processes. Proving not only your craft, but your student's academic level. Someone who cares about their students. Go beyond just curriculum and also be able to reach children and figure out what makes them tick. Someone who provides a lot of feedback. Who's willing to take the extra mile. The passion of giving knowledge. Stop at nothing to make sure that they did their job. Get our children to listen. So a good teacher cares about students first. Secondarily, they know they're good, they, they know their subject matter well enough to educate students in a way that they can actually access the material that they're teaching. And they actually make sure that they model the thought processes that are necessary for them, for students to become productive and to know the, and to know the material. My definition of a good teacher would be somebody who's persistent and really cares about the education of a child. Overall, I think the definition of a good teacher is one who genuinely has the student's best interests in mind. I think a good teacher should be very knowledgeable in their content, but I don't think that's enough. You know, I think that you should recommit yourself every day to you know, improving not only your craft, but you know, your student's academic level. A good teacher is someone who provides a lot of feedback. Um, someone who cares about their students enough to make sure that their students understand the material and are able to use the material. It's very devoted to the fact that their students are learning. The passion of giving knowledge is important to them, not just the salary or paycheck. Someone who can build relationships with students can go beyond just curriculum and also be able to reach children and figure out what makes them tick so that they can have the leverage to really bring out the best in each student. Any caring teacher who's willing to take the extra mile to help out a student. The role of parent, school, and community, it should be a joint partnership. Unfortunately, uh, today we find that most of the, the pressure is on teachers. I really can't stress enough the importance of parental and community involvement and commitment. Parents could help their children succeed by getting involved. Oftentimes, I found that parents who are uh, really, really supportive of students, so students are going to do better. But parents who have a really difficult relationship with the school, the students don't do well either because what happens is the students then take on the attitudes of their parents. When their parents are angry with the school, the students become angry with the school. And then what happens then is that it all snowballs and nobody is served at all. I think the community and parents at home have more of an influence than the actual school because what kids see at home, they bring to school. What you see outside and within your own home affects how you do in school. If you're like experiencing a lot of gang violence, then you're going to be fighting a lot in school. We spend our whole life trying to get our children to listen to what we say, but they never fail to watch what we do. We do, you know, basically what we see. Monkey see, monkey do. You know, if we see our parents not caring or you know, paying attention, we're not going to care or pay attention either. My students are only with me 44 minutes a day, and maybe I'll see them a couple times throughout the day. And if there's no one at home, not parents, but anybody, whoever is at home, if there's not anyone at home that's reinforcing the ideas that we're, we're sending here um, and not encouraging them, then I think it's really hard to change the situation. You know, I really do. You know, it, it needs to be an equal um, effort on both ends or else it's just not going to change, in my opinion. So the Pittsburgh Promise is probably one of the most amazing opportunities for students ever created in this country. And I'm not overstating that fact. The Promise has helped people to help to make college more affordable. I think the Pittsburgh Promise is a good opportunity to get students, scholar students, to stay in public schools and sort of influence other students to not fall in with the crowd, that you can still be successful and go places. I think that the Pittsburgh Promise coming to Westinghouse gives students a goal to work forward to. Like they know they're going to get this scholarship money, so they're going to try their best to make good grades and they're going to do their best so that they can get the money. I mean, it's money. Kids love money. I think it's had a positive effect. I think it is definitely made students more aware of striving to get to college, more aware that what they're doing here has 
you know, a profound impact on whether they can go to college and if they go to college, whether they'll be successful. Um, I th you know, we, th we still have a ways to go to really make the impact of the promise as strong as it could be, but I d definitely think already it's had a, a positive impact in improving students' outlooks about their future. Me personally, I had to overcome a lot of challenges and obstacles by myself. So I had to self-motivate myself, which is hard to do, especially in this type of learning environment. When there are people, you know, killing each other, uh, drugs, all types of things going around you, it's hard to stay focused on one, you know, one main goal or, or a particular point. If you have no goal, then you're just going to be, you know, doing whatever. You have no, no idea of where you want to go. You, you don't know what steps you need to get there. And I've realized that a lot of students are really living in the present and do not have a vision for what they want to do in the future. And it's very like, oh, I'll figure something out. You're graduating this year, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? It's worked really well for students who've always done well in school. So the Pittsburgh Promise has worked really well for those students. But what it's also done for students is for students who haven't done well, really well historically, it's motivated them to do better. So it really works well when, again, it goes back to the good teachers piece, you've got good teachers who are teaching good things to students, who are interested in students, and students themselves are motivated to be in the classroom, and they also do well. I have certain teachers who their teaching methods are wonderful. They provide a lot of feedback and they communicate well with me, so I'm doing good. If you do hard work, you can go anywhere in life. One of the things that I would like for the students at, at Westinghouse, the um, people of Homewood, in fact the people across the city, to have is a bigger sense of urgency about education. Um, every day that we lose the opportunity to educate the students to the fullest is a day they move closer to not receiving the benefits of, of education. And my knowledge, cause college is my destination. My brain getting smarter, my mind elevating. They go on hate, but I concentrate like meditation. I'm regulating my dreams, that's what I'm calling it. I'm about to go to college with two or three scholarships. I'm the best success, I want all of it. And graduate from a university with my doctorate in politics.